This is going to be some Danish dynamite. Astrala starts the draw. Let me hear you! Astrala starting the CT side. North on the T side here. And we'll have P250's blocks. Three smokes. This is going to be a very technical play as Glade will be challenging towards the middle of the start. Nothing spotted, but they are getting ready towards those long doors. CT's will have presence there. It's going to be up to Zipex to hold off the push that could potentially come through. Presumably they will flash and smoke him before they actually make their next move here. Certainly hope so here, Henry, but it is going to start to get hot and heavy as the smoke cans start to plume, but the bomb is making a move on the long side. Going to be in the arms of AZ, and here comes Zipex. He is going to have to back away for the time being. Got a second player up in the form of Device, who is watching across the long landing headshots already. Can't quite get the second, going to get flanked by MSL. A good pick for North may yield a bomb plan at the very least. And it's gonna get a whole lot better. Valder catches Magus in the air. I don't know if he saw a second player. May have heard the footsteps at the very least. That short is gonna be contested by Dupree, taking point for his team alongside Glaive. Zipex now making a move in CT spawn. MSL and Valder should be able to hold the line here with the rest of their teammates. Jumping up an elevator, Zipex, but no one's there to boost him. MSL's gonna block him out. Valda with one of his own, and Dupree only able to bag himself one kill. That should be the round over right here, right now. He's taking so much damage. Oh my god! Two kills with one HP! But the clutch stream is dead, Henry. It certainly is. Amazing effort there from Dupree. He'll go down with a bomb blast, but he did manage to take three. North make their way towards short, trading out frags. A fish and plant comes through, and it's down to Dupree in the three versus one. He got irresistibly close there, Vince, but wasn't quite enough. North you see players, three of them heading down towards suicide, but Device ready and waiting. He's going to land the shot into Kiev. He blows out his kneecaps. It'll be difficult for him to stagger his way onto the site now, but it's going to be very aggressive by North. No one they're going to be skimping on some of these head armors, catching him in transition. Kirby besting Dupree. This leaves Zipex by himself on the site. Device does have the AWP, but they're expending a bit of utility just to hold the line. Magus now realizes, hold on a second, this may be a B hit. He is going to catch Kirby, who was already weakened, courtesy of Device. But Magus now has to hold off against three separate terrorists. He's going to do the damage onto the first. Runs out of bullets, runs out of life. But Alda with two should be securing the fourth round now on the side of North. Excellent stuff by Valder there. Transferring the spray towards the doors. Finds two very important frags. Magus goes, gets two frags, but that's still not quite enough. And it's Zipex, the master of these clutches, Vince, making his way towards the doors. He has not got a kit, but he has got a smoke and an HE grenade. Two kills to find. HE actually pretty successful does a boatload of damage towards Valder, but how does he get through these doors? They've got him surrounded, and AZ will confirm the round. A victory. He's going to have to do that once again. Sprays wild in the M4, but taking so much damage with the flash tanks. The Molotovs are landing, but he's still doing a great job here. Not for long, and do three. The second the offer can't connect anything just yet. Device also watching the cross, but I think they've resigned their fate. That this round will not be going their way. They're going to save a north off to a six. Zero stop. Can you believe it? Just gonna exhume through them. We'll see whether this fast play towards middle will work out as well. It looks like a B split coming in very quickly once again. And Dupree of the Orb is not an ideal weapon or position by the car. Majesk has shown even when he's lost rounds, he's been doing damage. Oh, they're by the window already. But yeah, Kiabi's got him on lock. He's gonna make sure he's got the guaranteed kill. And I'm sure that Dupree's not long for this world too. Right after Astralis call the timeout, they get weapons on the board, instantly nullified, instantly neutralized. This has got to be getting in the head of Astralis at this stage. don't have a response for it whatsoever. We're 9-0 up. Remember, North got beaten 16-0 about two hours ago on this very map. Back towards Long and AZ doing it again! Another double kill! How is he providing so many kills in this area? Astralis, you've got to leave Long alone. You can't challenge him. After another tumultuous force by with device on the glass cannon orb, very little nades, they put everything into this round and AZ's taken it away. He continues to impress here in Stockholm. <laughs> what would be happening? I don't know. But this is a much slower approach, remember? Kiabi getting flashed in. This time is more promising for Astralis. Opening pick is there, but it's a beast split coming through. MSL with the AWP will get one. Maybe it's good positioning, but MSL hitting absolutely everyone with this orb, it seems. As he looks for another, nine seconds remaining. AZ needs to make this kill happen. He knows it's the orb there. He's going to get the kill in response. Four seconds. They can no longer plan. MSL goes towards B. But now, finally, Astralis has got that first round on the board. He's 
Oh, that's such a risk for Magus. Towards Shaw. He doesn't have to commit to the kills here. If they can get the long plant down, that would be fantastic as MSL tries to defend. Plans to flick this time. Overkill Glaive has his head splattered. Kirby not going to be landing his opportunity. Now it's down to MSL. In terms of the plant, it will favor him. They're going to have to peek him one by one as well, Henry. They're on different angles. And now Dupree's going to join them. They're going to boost up onto Elevator. Try and maybe peek him oh my God. simultaneously. They have an incendiary, but that is it. And MSL continues to land. He's not missing anytime soon. That should be the round wrapped up now. What can Magus realistically pull off? Nothing! MSL destroys Astralis. Resets them. 11-1 lead. Astralis reeling. Have themselves Zipex on the A site, but he's decided to back away at the worst possible moment. No need to save, of course, it is the last round of the half. Magus one on four. This would be the play of a lifetime from his perspective. Maybe gives them a lifeline. I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible, Henry. Let's yeah. be real, he's probably just going to get completely destroyed. Uh, yeah, the bomb's down now. He has no kit, no grenades. <laughs> Scout, half HP. Do I really need to go any further? It is going to be 41. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to give a hand to North. But their strength in numbers, Nico is about to get tried from four separate players. He is able to get at least one. MSL's going to flash himself out. USP, almost too many targets to choose from. Will be caught with the indecision. AC with one and a second, gonna double up, oh and there's God. in for a third! Oh my goodness, AC! He that's, will not relent! That's insane. His level has just been so impressive here. I'm used to saying him, oh, he has one of those maps every, like, once every six or so, like, you'll have a 20 bomb, and you think, oh, he's, he's definitely still got it, but he's been consistently unbelievably good throughout this tournament. Whatever they did in the player break, it has worked, and then some. KRB will punish Magus in the end. This could be the 16-1 coming in. Map now starting to make a move on long, and Nico, identical position to where he was in the pistol round. This time, though, has the MP9 as his trusty friend. And if they get close, he is going to be able to completely destroy anybody on long. Now the noise has been made, Pete's up, going to spray it out too. And that could be the end of Dust 2, ladies and gentlemen. Nice shot by Zipex, but he's going to have to find three more. No reason for Nico to Ooh, peek, and there is a smoke there. Did tag him slightly. But there it is, Nico with the USP. 16 to 1. Not gonna be able to wrap around. Kirby in the meanwhile though is on the flank. Valda on the site waiting for something, waiting for a pixel to execute off. May not be required because Nikos came in for two and Valda's gonna keep them at bay. The bomb is gonna get planted, but this should be an easy retake for the terrorists. Getting destroyed. And there's no Molotov for Zipex either. His days are numbered, he's got one, but only two health. Surely this is not possible. Even for the Clutch King, even for the Clutch Meister, this was a bridge too far. What's in store with the utility? We've got one incendiary that could be used towards the upper ramp and they go for the defuse here and a flashbang as well. Zipex going for the long con towards the connector. And they need this. There's no Molotov once again in the hands of Glaive, so he can't afford to rest on his laurels. It's oh, all about that defuser. flank, but they're just going to stick the defuse. Even if Kirby dies, it should be enough time for Nico. Oh, got it! He just got there in time! A fast paced round to begin with, they've got equal exchanges, then a two on two, the bomb down, technically the advantage, Zipex plays it perfectly. They know the money's going to be low now on the north side, but the AWP is out for MSL, not the same story, but Zipex will take him down. Peaked a bit too late, Zipex was able to get himself set up. Molly into the shot, Kirby's taking some chunk, this is looking a little bit more promising for Astralis now. Looking to get just their second round in this best of three. And Dupree is able to contend with Nico. Does take a chunk of damage, but he's able to scamper away and join the rest of his team. Those are excellent entries. They absolutely are. Still a lot of work to do here. See the reaction from Kiabi. He's got two players right in front of him now. They're expecting this push. They're going to take care of him. No problem at all. Much better from Astralis now. This will actually completely ruin the finances of North. They might want to consider saving these two rifles at this point. Device able to snake his way out of T main already, but not going to be able to flick to Nico. There's a boost up from Astralis, but Dupree's taken a beating down to just below 50% of his health. So the early trades, solid on the side of North, looking to bounce back after a rough previous three rounds. 
towards inside they go. This will be an execution of sorts. You can see Mage is holding Ivy for now, but starts to back away. And he'll be joining his teammates. They will set up a smoke execution here towards inside. They've still got three of those, two Molotovs as well, but MSL and Valda both in towards inside. One watching up, but that's MSL. Valda patrolling towards that lower ramp from the bomb train. Oh, that grenade, that could do a boatload of damage there. Doesn't do as much as I thought, but Dupree takes it on the chin. 40 seconds remaining. They are not going to fall back from what I can tell here. They do not have anyone towards Pop Dog. This is a full commitment. Valder goes up in spots, and MSL does so much damage towards Glade, but can't find the fragment here. Valder, though, is going to be good on the coils, and now there's so many angles that may just have to watch out for. Molotov. He's perched up, he's got the Molotov, and there's no smoke available. North should not be winning this round now, but Amoli's going to counteract. Forcing Device out into the open, but the time is too far gone, oh. and Device does connect the shot. Much better as he goes towards the main entrance once again, looking for anyone to get up on top of the red train. Flashbang is going to be up there and easy. This time up close and personal. We are going to trade blows though, as MSL gets bested by Device this time. AZ now really needs to come to the forefront. Does have Kia B helping him out. I think he may have just seen the shadow. Protruding around the corner, but Glaive is still going to connect. And AZ has also fallen down alongside Valder into Pop Dog. But Only Valder is there. Finally, MSL will rotate over, and he'll be positioning himself towards that upper ramp. He certainly will, but he's been spotted. Flash, oh, he's tagged. Maybe flashed shortly, but Valder going to be taking away all the attention and all the lives of Astralis. It's only Magus that survives, and he can't manhandle anybody. They will go towards inside, but that HE grenade of Zipex, he is ready to deploy that, but they're going towards up here. It won't do any damage, and this could be a nice opener as AZ with the P250. Great shot by him, and Zipex doing everything he can with that CZ. Good for one, but low HP, and they're coming for him now. Yeah, he's, he's living on borrowed time. He's just trying to stall for the rest of his teammates to get there. Knowing the terrorists can't push him too aggressively. Bomb still has been planted, but will be momentarily. And although Zipex didn't necessarily have a huge amount of influence in terms of kills, he did a lot of damage. MSL and AZ are both struggling alongside Mages. Blade now coming in, taking damage quickly, switching his attention to the bomb site. And the kills now flowing in for Astralis, leaving Nico in a one on three. And Astralis have got it done. And I and here we go, they're pulling the trigger for the execute. Incendiaries are being exchanged though, stopping them from the ramp push for the time being. Now under half a minute, Kirby's going to be going in first. He started the round off for North, but a flashbang is going to turn them for a few more moments. Zipex is already going through some of that magazine. He's going to need to anchor once again. They're okay with the bomb plant as long as they get the kills afterwards, but it's going to be Kirby that strikes for a second time, and only Magisk has counteracted with one of his own. Now the fight is coming in, there's Magisk again! Again. And it's looking a lot more of a workable situation for Astralis. Absolutely so, Vince, but the bomb's still ticking. And there is a flashbang being deployed right now by AZ, trying to help his teammate out here. MSL doing a jo good job, at least leaves him a winnable situation, but one that won't be realized. As AZ goes down, it's a great attempt there. They got the opening kill, the bomb planted, but the retake is just too strong from Astralis. MSL still out dry, and that's going to be to his detriment, Glaive. Gonna gobble up that kill all day. Already on the back foot, North will be facing the very real possibility of overpass. And with every passing second, it gets closer and closer. No reason for Astralis to really mix anything up. I mean, they have this map on lock. Valder's already out. Past teammate. When you have the man advantage as well, Vince, you know their money's wrecked. You don't have to be pushing anymore. You just hold up, bolster your defenses, get the crossfires down. And nice shot from Nico. Is it going to be enough to even get them close to a bomb site? Time will tell. As Valder, he starts to make it look a bit more convincing now. All of a sudden, it's a three versus two. Kiabi with the Deagle. All of these kills coming out of nowhere, but Device is still alive. He has spotted one potentially here getting up the ladder. There it is. Takes off the head of Kiabi. And now. And it starts to look more promising for Astralis to find round number 15. Bomb's also dropped out in the open 35 seconds. They're going to have to retrieve that. Nico's now got it. But in terms of the effects, he's going to be able to deny the bomb plant. It took a bit too long for North to get the bomb planted down. North would just be delaying the inevitable on the B side against Astralis at this point. Oh my goodness, the grenade lands a ton of damage. And Glaive starts to pick them off. 
as it goes into a five versus three. That should be it. It certainly should, Henry. I think the curtain is coming down here on train as Astralis pull away. Next stop, overpass. AZ, one on five, tagged up, gives his position away. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thinking about going towards B until he heard the smokes bouncing. So he's all that remains on A. And now Nico has the arduous task of trying to retake what was once north. He's going to be coming up from the underground area with his USP. Doesn't have a kit, only a pistol. Is at least healthy. If he can tee off with his first kill, this could get interesting. We definitely expect Astralis to just close it out, shut it in his face. And especially as now they know exactly where he is. They've got a triple stack all looking towards his angle of dumpster. And down he will go. Astralis. They're now going to recuperate Henry and look to try and force their will on his side. Nice glaive going down. That's both the SMGs dropped at this point. MSL hits the best. It's going to be very convincing for North. Device will fight back best he can. It's now a four versus two. Device and Magus left with a very difficult and tall order as they have to push together now. They have got smokes and flashbangs. But MSL does spot one. He can hit the shot, but that one certainly does. Nice snappy reaction there to find Device and now Magus. Just going to try and cause financial damage. Device comes train. Yes, he wants to die at this point, so he gets the money. Maybe he's still part of the map in the game. Is that smoke missed though? Pretty sure that one should be landing in heaven. As the CTs now have full vision in that particular area, they won't be checking out Ace's position as well. They'll assume that's smoked up. That's a big problem. As Nika looks to spray them down, we'll get nothing. Oh, Valve has gone down too. He could have the linchpin, but Ace, he's being off kills. Finally, going to stop the bloodshed. Courtesy of running out of ammunition, did a lot of damage to Dupree, but is going to come out second best. Molly thrown onto the site, going to try and funnel away the T's and allow MSL to make some moves alongside Kia B, with MSL being destroyed here be now one on three they don't know exactly where he is but now i think they've just spotted him and therefore he may have to think about just running away gonna use the molly to see if he can force the hand of one of the t's to push him on the fight taking damage through the wall the round's done as far as will regain the lead after losing three in a row the only question to be answered is will kia be hold on to his m4 and it does seem like the answer is going to be yes Triple nade stacks in North have certainly demonstrated that throughout this tournament. It's going to give Nico some questions later on as he gets smoked to hell. But he is still alive. That could focus some attention towards him, allowing AZ to just go ham. Valda is also in prime position. 18 seconds left. They need a hero. They need a pioneer to pinch the onto the side with. And they're going to get it in the form of Dupree. Again, the entry king for Astralis will strike in a form of the bomb plant. And Zipex is going to lay down MSL. Kirby, be not for the first time, has to try and walk over. The destruction of B-Site. And Dupree will silence him to excellent work, Dupree. Prestine entry fragging. Yeah, that would have a B split coming through. Magus patrolling the connector very quickly. He'll be opening the door, looking for any sort of damage he can spam, but he actually gives his own damage away as the response shot comes through. And he goes down to 48 HP. Valda looking to challenge here towards Shaw, but the flashbang's just too difficult to deal with. That flashbang was absolutely perfect. And it will get them a second kill which will be claimed onto Nico. AZ, they need a hero. He needs to bring a storm behind him. The device is making a move through long, but in the meanwhile, Kirby is the only player to strike before he is bested. And they've kept AZ at bay. Now that they've got device on A, they know it's clear, they can transition the bomb across, they can get the easy round. And although AZ's going for the rotation, he's gonna get cut off by device. Excellent flank. As the AK-47, as his trusty primary now, still making a move around the side. The two CTs, they don't have a smoke. Dupree, if he peeks up right now, could have this round under wraps. They still haven't got down on it just yet. Dupree lurking round the shadows of bathroom. They're still not going for it, but finally, they have got the full diffuse in effect. And you can understand why Dupree doesn't peek out there. He has to take a risk. He, he's hoping she's there. Who can extinguish what? Who can 
flushed the ill position out and caused as much damage with the HEs. It's great to see two very tactical teams square off as Device waits for the flank from Kiabi. He will get it, but MSL, same position, gets Glaive once again. He'll steal away the man advantage. Device is just shying away from the AWP. This is uncharacteristic for him. Maybe that's down to a bit of lack of form here on Overpass, favoring the rifles instead. And MSL is just going to town! He wants to get this as close as comfortable. They're getting that seven rounds at the halftime. Zipex may have something to say about it, but I have to feel like he is going to be silent. The master of clutches, but this should be too far gone. Does have the bomb, does have a bit of wiggle room back towards connector. But it's a 2-2 two -two stack. Wherever he goes, he's outnumbered. Wherever he goes, he's outgunned. And time itself is becoming an adversary that he probably can't deal with. There's MSL. Gonna get his fourth of the round. Gonna keep the dream alive of a 9-6 scoreline. Molly's flying all over the place, being traded. There's a storm brewing for North. And they're gonna be looking for a potential boost, or at least jumping up will be easy to have a bit of information. And you can call that to MSL, who flicks across. But Zipex is gonna trade him out. The health is favored towards AZ. Oh! He's a monster and just destroys him. Oh my goodness, Stunner. It must be especially North. Can they go one step further and win the whole damn thing? Bowder seems to think so. He'll crack open the beast, but Glaive is here and he'll stop the bomb going down. This could determine so much as to how this very map, this very tournament goes. North have the advantage, haven't got the bomb planted just yet. And Meiji is making moves, but Nico is going to stop him from having any further impact. Device not going to get it done either. Had a phenomenal second map, but has been crushed. And North pick up the second kit towards B. He might want to just show his hand now and die for a flash in. Try and pull someone in with him just as his teammates get ready to strike. Or go for the long back that once his team fully commit to the plan. Device is really trying to bait this out, but Kiev, he's not falling for it. This isn't his first rodeo. And AZ laying down the law. Device is going to have to just back out. MSL is coming in behind him, Vince. Device is not locked in this world. Whatever happens there, it won't even be a factor. They lock him in, and four players survive for North there. Easy though, making his way towards the side. 15 seconds remain here, Vince. If he can get this opening kill, there might be a chance of a plant. Could be a colossus. He spots a player on short. That's going to open up a gateway towards the site. Can they stop it on the cross? Yes, they can. Zimpex is there. There's not enough time to plant. And as far as will, just about by the skin of their teeth, take their 10th round. They absolutely will. Same way as the last round, isn't it? 10 players left alive this time, and the entries will favor North Dupree. Coiled like a viper, ready to strike, and it's going to get taken away from him by device. They are holding the line just about him. Oh. needed to get that kill. But Valder comes in with one of his own. No oh, the ball's been planted as well, and Valder could be clutching this. Knows where Magus is, Ooh. but Magus is going to clutch. He holds his nerve, holds the round, and could hold Astralis in this tournament. That's an insight as to how important Astralis want to hold off and stall these pushes for as long as possible. Zipex going to use the SMT up close, but the SPMB will flash, decimating him. In doing so, could this be the side going the way of North? Could this be the reset? In effect, Dupree is the try his best to stop that, but AZ, he has an AK, and he has that cross down his head, and the side comes in with one, and Device and Mages has to walk over the rubble of B. This is looking fantastic, but they haven't accounted for the ramp. Is this enough from Mages? He has to deliver here. He has to try and bring this round in their favor. Good grenade here. Takes down MSL, but the bomb has been planted. He's still waiting for his teammates to arrive. All of a sudden, this does look possible. Improbable, but it is. On the table still for Device. And his tag team partner's gone down for AZ. He is going to get... North to a 13-11 score. With intel they've gathered, it will be a long push from North. They're going to execute fully with everything they've got. 
Zipex Dupree and Device are aware of this, and Device has the scout. They're going in quickly. Could this be to their detriment? They're taking damage here, Vince. It's not a foregone conclusion that they win this round. Smoked Molotovs, the kitchen sink being tossed towards A, and Kia be trying to see if maybe can lap something through the smoke, and he has done just that. But Zipex, who else in clutch situations, stands tall, delivers two CZ frags, and forces North back. Oh my god, Valda from nowhere somehow gets two more through the smoke. Magus! Now of it all to do. Remember what I said, they force bought here. They've got first they've lost bonus right now. They'll have second when they eventually lose this round. That means it'll be 14-11 and every player on the Astralis side will have $1,900. Do they force buy again? Do they take the eco and allow championship points to come in and try and grind out four rounds? That's pretty much the only way I can see it going. May just finds the AK, and he has no choice but to save that, surely. He cannot justify going for this retake. It would just be an absolute blunder of a decision here. From Nico and Co. In they go. Flash is solid, though. And the damage on top of Nico is going to leave a mark, but he's still able to deliver. Dupree with a CZ, going to use the smoke. See if he can maybe stay alive a while longer. Glaive with that UMP is going to lay down MSL, and the bomb's gone with him. This actually, it could be quite interesting for Dupree, but there goes more. The pulse is dwindling as Stralis need a shot to the system. Valda's just gonna buy this time and wait. Magus on a prowl. Oh, spins around on a pivot, lands the headshot. But there's the Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your champions of DreamHack Masters Stockholm 2018. Make some noise for North!